What's going on guys? Nutty New here. This is my new Toyota pickup truck. We're going to talk about the truck itself, how I got it, and just a little quick walk around on the rig because I know you guys want to know what I got. So let's start. This is a 1993 Toyota pickup. This is the SR5 model with a V6 engine 4x4. It's all nice and stock. I'll let you guys know what was done to it when I got it and what I did to it. But let's just take a quick walk around and look at this classic car. <coughs> V6. So most of you guys know my story about the freaking 4Runner, what happened to it. I don't want to talk too much about it. But really, three days after I crashed that 4Runner, I picked up this baby here. And I spent about, two, I spent about three days working on it. And most of those work was just, you know, doing the tune-up and getting it all nice and fresh. <coughs> so it does have the sunroof. Hey, he noticed me. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Okay, so anyways, this is the 93 Toyota Pickup V6. When I bought it, um, it didn't have the tinted windows, so I did the tint on that. It has some stock wheels, and I removed those, and I put the 33s 10.5 by 15 from the 4Runner, and I just put them onto this guy. They fit fine, no rubbing. Uh, completely stock, no lift, nothing like that. I also have new CVs, new tie rods from the 4Runner, so I basically swapped those guys I swapped the whole hub from the forerunner into these because all the tie rods and all the CV from this one was all bad the bottom balance that black bottom balancer <coughs> that and the rest of the frame I like to uh, I like I did a fresh rust-oleum black spray paint on it <coughs> just a rattle can give it looks give it some protection so we're not gonna get we're not gonna get under this truck but you guys can take my word for it. This thing has zero rust. <laughs> um, zero rust on the frame. <coughs> um, zero rust on the body. And no, it doesn't really have any leaks. I fixed most of the leaks. There's like some small leaks here and there, but it's not like major dripping. I think there's like a small leak at the valve cover and a small leak around the, the T case, but nothing major. But really, this is a clean, this is a clean, clean V6 engine. Um, it has roughly about 227,000 miles. <laughs> but the engine is completely stock. And it's really clean. I'll go ahead and pop the hood in a bit here. But this is pretty much it. I like it. <laughs> it's a green color. It's really hard to tell. But it's like a very dark green color. I'm not sure what they call this color or this color, color code. But from far away, it looks green, and for some people, it might look gray. <coughs> so if you guys know my first truck, so if you guys know my history, my first Toyota truck was a 93 Toyota pickup, and I bought it from older gentleman too, and so it was completely stocked, just like this guy here. And I completely did like a full lift on that guy and did some fun stuff with that. I pretty much destroyed that truck, or at least the looks on that one. So for this one here, we're gonna keep it stock. We're not gonna be doing any lifting, any off-roading, anything like that with this one. Maybe some camping trips and overlanding here and there, but nothing crazy for this one. I'm gonna try to baby it. It's a really nice truck. Once you get older like me, and once you've been through so many trucks, and once you've done so many off-road trips, you just come to appreciate these trucks. And you just want one that's just nice and clean, and just be able to just drive it every day, and just enjoy it for what it is. Um, if, I think if I wanted to do an off-road trip, I would build a deal. I would build a different rig that's dedicated for it. But for now, we're just gonna focus on the daily driver. So when I bought it, uh, yeah, it didn't have the tent. I put the tent and did a full tune-up. Um, did the tires and all that stuff. And really, that's pretty much it. I don't plan to do anything else to it besides an LED light bar. I'm gonna do the same thing I did on my 4Runner, um, which is install a 32-inch LED light bar on the bumper here. I feel bad because this is a really nice bumper. And I don't know if I want to drill it, but it's only two little drill holes, so it's gonna it's gonna be something useful too. The LED is gonna be really useful in the summertime, oh in the runtime. 
The only thing bad about this one is just it has a little dent right here. You guys can see that crevice. Right here. Nothing too bad though. So yeah, that's it right there guys. We'll go ahead and give you guys an interior shots and then we'll go ahead and pop the hood for you guys. This is the SR, SR5 model, so that means it is sport. Uh, it is a five-speed manual, and this is the better version, you know, the top version of this Aegis. So it has the power windows. There's a lot of mosquitoes right now. It has power windows, <coughs> um, power locks. It has the sunroof, and it's really nice. Just a regular five-speed 3.0 with... 227 and 584 miles so inside is really nice guys and I also noticed that the seats <coughs> the seats on these guys they're the original ones these are the original seats but they're very sporty you can see how it carves in it doesn't it's not like the regular standard seats <laughs> this one comes in and it carves in and it's it's almost like a racing seat so it's really really nice it kind of hugs you and super nice so it also came with the mats the mats and these leather covers which are made directly to fit this truck and it's really really nice so I like it so we'll go and do a quick shot of the hood and then I'll tell you guys a little bit of history about how I got the vehicle all right, so this is the engine here. This is a 3.0 V6. I know a lot of people hate the V6 3.0, but I don't really care. I've owned it twice before, and it's treated me good. Um, as long as you keep up the maintenance, take care of it, and don't abuse it, you shouldn't have any problem. So, <coughs> ever since I bought it, or ever since I've owned it, I did a radiator flush, coolant flush, oil change, <coughs> um, new air filter, all OEM, <coughs> um, new spark plugs, New coils, new spark plug wires, um, new cap and rotor, and that's pretty much it as far as the engine wise. And um, it runs good, it really runs really, really smooth. I like it the way it is. Um, I do have an EGR delete kit coming in, so I might be doing the EGR delete. I'm not very familiar with, with the 20 with the 3.0, <coughs> but I've been reading a lot of forums and watching a lot of videos but it's gonna it's gonna delete all this stuff right here and some of the vacuum lines so I might do that I might not we'll see how it is so that's the engine there pretty much basic really clean oil leaks no oil leaks nothing like that and uh yeah that's it right there so let's talk about how I bought this truck or how I found this truck because most of you guys know this thing wasn't listed on Facebook or it wasn't listed on Craigslist. So, if you guys recall a couple months ago when I first bought my mountain bike, my Diamondback that I've been riding on all my videos, my channels, <coughs> I bought it news from this older couple. And when I went to go pick up that mountain bike, I saw this pickup truck in their driveway or across from their driveway. I'm like, man, whose truck is that? And the gentleman, the owner, the husband, was like, yeah, that's my truck. Um, the gentleman, he had two trucks. He had this t Toyota, and he had a brand new, like, 2015, 2016 Tundra. So, this is just like his side truck, and he didn't really need it. <coughs> so, I asked him, man, you ever thought about selling your truck here? And he's like, yeah, I thought about selling it, man, because I don't really need it. What do you think it's worth? And I told him that if he was ever to sell this truck, he should take no more than, he should take no less than $5,000. And he's like, all right, sounds good. And then I bought the bike and went on my ways. And then after I crashed my 4Runner, <coughs> I hopped on Craigslist, I hopped on Facebook, and I was like, man, time to find me another truck. I know I want a Toyota, so I started looking online. And then like for, for one second, I was like, oh, snap. There's the gentleman that had the clean ass third gym Toyota pickup when I bought my mountain bike. So I went through all my messages, my Facebook messages, because I messaged them through the Facebook market. <coughs> I went through all my Facebook messages, found that message, and I contacted the wife. The wife was the original post for that mountain bike. So I contacted her, and I was like, yo, I spoke with your husband about your Toyota when I was there. Um, if he's still interested in selling it, I'm willing to give him this much for it. And they, she was like, yeah, totally awesome. We definitely would love to do that. And for some reason, 
the wife also found out about my video, my YouTube video, <laughs> the video where I crashed the Forerunner. She's like, oh my gosh, I watched your video. I'm so sorry about your Forerunner. So I'm not sure how she found out, but I'm assuming she was like, she was like a subscriber or a followers on my channel, but that's pretty awesome. So she saw the video and her husband saw the video because <clears throat> when I picked up the mountain bike, <laughs> I drove my Forerunner there and the husband was really impressed with it. He was like, man, this is a super clean Forerunner, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> so yeah, long story short, after a couple days after we recovered the Forerunner on a Saturday, um, the next day, Sunday, I met up with the husband <coughs> and <coughs> I brought some money and I bought it. I took it for a test drive. Eric and I, we both went there, took it for a test drive. I drove it. Eric drove it. He both inspected. We inspected it. We already knew it was a clean truck. It just needed a basic overhaul tune up. And pretty much we bought it, guys. That's, that's how the story ended. So we bought it from the gentleman and that's pretty much how I got it now. <coughs> and then I also gave him my roof rack off the forerunner because I was like, man, I don't need a roof rack no more. And uh, he really liked it. He really liked it, my roof rack, when I, when I was there buying the mountain bike. So that's pretty much the story on it. And I'm assuming you guys want to know what the price I paid for this vehicle. And I think I don't want to talk about that. I think we'll just go ahead and leave that out for the record. And uh, just let you guys know, I got a really, really great deal on this. I didn't pay $5,000. Let's just put it that way. I didn't pay $5,000 for this truck. But I got a pretty amazing deal and I couldn't be any more happier with what we pay for it and the condition of this vehicle. So that's pretty much the story of how I bought the truck. Literally, I crashed my Forerunner on Wednesday, recovered the Forerunner on Saturday, bought this on Sunday and spent the next couple days um, just doing a full tune-up overhaul. And this is where we're at right now. And I like it the way it is. It looks really, really beautiful. So, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll definitely try to make more videos about the truck or just more adventures with this truck. And this will be the new vehicle for the channel. So, if you guys are wondering what I'm driving or what I'm using, this is it right here. And if you guys got any questions, any questions, thoughts, opinions, whatever you guys want to put in the comment section, Put it in the comment section below. I'll read them. I'll respond to them. And happy 4th of July. It is 4th of July. It's actually midnight 4th of July right now. So I will see you guys next time. And uh, be safe out there, guys. Have a wonderful day.